Hi there, John O'Leary from Horse Problems Australia and welcome to this week's podcast. career horseman um, and a problem horse trainer. I came uh, involved with horses born into it. Fifth generation, uh, all of my relatives have been horsemen and racehorse trainers and jockeys and there were um, seven brothers and one sister. Um, The seven brothers all held racehorse trainers licenses and all trained winners and the seven brothers all held jockeys licenses and all road winners. Um, they were all farriers. They had their own circus, the O'Leary Circus, of, uh, of stock whip cracking and uh, high jumping horses and trick horses. Dad was also a horseman and a stockman and, and head stockman of Balquitta Station uh, on, the, on the south coast. Uh, and Dad um, was the personal horse escort for General Blamey, the officer in charge of the armed forces in the Second World War. The number of um, horses that have been through my hands is uh, approaching 25,000 and the number of people that have been uh, through my hands has been approaching 100,000. And at this stage of my career, I'm, uh, I'm in the happy position to be able to read the minds of the horse the whole time, and indeed they can read my mind as well. I'm now into the psychological side of horses and, and also assisting lawyers around the country in matters of horse law and help uh, probably one person a day um, in, in horse law, where they have been ripped off by, by the ever increasing crooked horse sales people, um, which has been spawned by the internet uh, and made, made it very easy, easy for them to, uh, to buy and sell horses uh, on the internet uh, and lie and con people. And so um, because I studied law um, in a younger life and accountancy, um, I use that to get involved to, to help people. All of, the, all of the lawyers around the country who now practice horse law only, um, they started because of, of my work. My website, www.horseproblems.com.au, um, was commenced in 2001. I put up um, a one page um, website. Uh, called A Day in the Life of the horse, of a Horseman and His Wife and started writing on it every night and uh, people started looking at it and it became um, very, very famous um, in the horse industry around the world with up to half a million people uh, reading it every Sunday night. Uh, the reason that I, um, I started that website was because Pony Club in Australia do not teach horsemanship. And, and most of the problem horses that I and any other trainer in this country meet is because of a lack of teaching of horsemanship to the owners. Monty Roberts, the horse whisperer, says that there are no, uh, there are no problem horses, there are only horses with people problems, and that, and that is a fact. The horse float I built because of my, my travelling thousands of problem horses throughout my life and having to try and fix them. Horse float manufacturers in this country just didn't get it. They had never improved on the safety aspect. They had never thought laterally. They had never thought for the horse. They had only thought from an engineer's point of view uh, and their own pockets. And so uh, over a period of the last 15 years, I've ridden horse float manufacturers on my, uh, my website as well to drive all of the, most of the current changes in horse floats in this country. Um, but at the end of the day, I manufactured uh, my own one to fix every deficiency of every horse float in this country in one hit, plus a revolution, uh, two or three revolutionary new uh, design features in that float, which is the first float in the world with safety onboard safety belts for horses. I met my wife um, when she was 13 years of age. In fact, I met her because I sold her her first horse. Uh, over the years after that, um, I knew her and her family uh, because of our involvement in the horse industry and helping them 
from time to time. I called her Mrs. HP, I'm Mr. HP. Uh, those those uh, names are trademarked and known all, all around the world now. Everyone knows who we are.